Hola mi gente, les habla Edwin Chungo Molina directamente desde San Juan frente a la Corte Federal desde el gobierno de Estados Unidos en Puerto Rico. Tenemos con nosotros a Panamá Alba, un, un luchador uh, incansable de la diáspora puertorriqueña en Nueva York uh, que nos va a hablar sobre la Junta Fiscal, la crisis económica y también las vistas del caso colonial de Puerto Rico. Eh, eh, también eh, Panamá, uh, I would like for you to uh, uh, present uh, uh, that, make that presentation also in English. Okay. Look, first of all, I think it's important that today was chosen here in order to have this mobilization because it's also the commemoration of the end of slavery and it's important for us to recognize colonialism as the enslavement of a nation by another nation that's what colonialism is we here are faced with the prospect that the United States federal government is going to impose a fiscal control board to regulate the finances of Puerto Rico. In all, the reason for it has to do with a $73 billion dollar debt accumulated by the colonial governments which are not governments are administrations and this difference Puerto Rico is not self-governed Puerto Rico is administered under a constitution approved by the United States which includes Um, a mandate to be responsible to the foreign debt before allotting funds for the needs of the Puerto Rican people. Now let's talk about this debt. First of all, when Puerto Rico was invaded by the United States and taken over from Spain, Spain demanded to be paid for its debt. And the position of the United States at that time, following the Spanish-American War, was that the Spanish colonies could not indebt themselves to anybody because they did not self-govern. So they could not indebt themselves. The United States invades Puerto Rico, establishes this so-called Estado Libre Asociado, the Commonwealth, and has pretended to the world that Puerto Rico is no longer a colony. Okay. Now, you do that, and in recent times, they have admitted even to the Supreme Court of the United States that Puerto Rico is still a colonial possession. It's a territory. It's not self-governed. Hey, Panama, how the uh, this uh, fiscal uh, uh, administration going to affect the work of people, the working people in Puerto Rico? Listen, I mean, if they take control of the finances from the United States, their only objective is to make sure that the bondholders get their money at the expense of the needs of the people of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is going through a serious financial crisis. It's not that we have $73 billion dollars in our pocket that we have to spend, okay? Because, and, and, and I know this is timely, but I need to tell you this. The $73 billion dollars is the accumulation of debt by the colonial administrators. El Estado Libre Asociado, under the pro-statehood party, under the uh, uh, Estado Libre Asociado party, los populares, los PNP, and they have borrowed money for purposes. The purposes being that following 1962, they created a law to attract American industry to Puerto Rico. The promise was that you go to Puerto Rico, 
cheap labor, an organized labor, okay, and you will be operating tax free. But in order to attract that industry, they had to provide it with the infrastructure, the roadways, uh, the waterways, the, the drinking water, electrical power company, all the requirements for them to operate in Puerto Rico. And that was, and that was built uh, for them uh, free? It was built for them because they never paid a penny. They didn't pay any taxes. The debt of building that was put on the backs of the Puerto Rican people. And the third point is to build that and to supply the money for the ongoing corruption of the two colonial parties in operation. Here, they change hands from election to election, the PNP, Partido Popular, and the corruption is massive. All you have to look at is the last administration. They didn't even talk about this one. The last administration spent a hundred million dollars to build a gas pipeline. Spend a hundred million dollars, the gas pipeline was never built. But the friends of the governor, Fortuño, got contracts for legal counsel, for propaganda, for all of the things. I never, he contracted a friend of his that he went skiing with for, for 17 million dollars, okay, to build the gas pipeline. And not only did the guy didn't build anything, the guy had never built anything, but it was his friend. See, uh, so 100 million just went for that project. That's the way the Puerto Rican administrators operate, with corruption. Okay, and the 73 million dollars have been used to finance the corruption plus the construction of the infrastructure. Panama, uh, uh, in this coming June, uh, we're going to have again the uh, deliberation uh, in the uh, the committee of uh, the colonization of Puerto Rico yes. uh, at the United Nations. The, uh, <laughs> some uh, people in Puerto Rico and, and the diaspora are uh, pushing uh, the government and uh, different uh, agencies and different uh, um, uh, uh, governments to help uh, transmit the uh, the visa at the uh, United Nations. How will you see that? Okay. First of all, I think it's very important that the that the uh, meeting of the, the uh, anti-colonial committee of the United Nations, which is presided by Venezuela this year, uh, take place because with the admission by the United States of Puerto Rico still remaining a territory, a colony, okay, I think they got things to answer for, which they have gotten away from directing themselves to in the past. It's important that it be widely broadcasted, that people hear it, that people know what is taking place. The United States is in violation of international law by maintaining Puerto Rico as a colony. Now, question is, what is the United Nations willing to do to enforce international law on the United States? Well, uh, P uh, Panama, P uh, Informacional Desnudo is uh, struggling and, and training right now uh, all the uh, personnel to be broadcasting uh, the Vistas uh, this year. Yeah, yeah. Not only that, we are going to have a mobilization here on June 14th, two weeks before the hearings in support of Puerto Rican independence, you know, uh, uh, to, to help mobilize people and bring attention to what's taking place at the United Nations. Panama. We thank you. And we thank you for the efforts you made. Uh, uh, Panama, uh, oh, uh, last minute uh, 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 message uh, for all the di diaspora that is uh, listening to you uh, through uh, uh, international uh, channels of Informacion al Nudo. The message is to keep strong and keep focused. The United States is not going to do anything because they're nice. They're going to do something when we force them to 
step away from Puerto Rico. They're going to do something when we force them to release Ojal Lopez. We're going to do something when we force them to release Ana Belén Montes. Okay? So we got to stay strong. We have to be strategic. We have to be intelligent. Let me just say that we have been the only ones in the United States to be able to free political prisoners through political campaigns. We've done it before. It is our responsibility to do it again. Thank you. Oh.